<laughs> Hi guys, uh, so we're going to try something a little bit different today. So we have a kind of a new segment that we might call a uh, Fermi problem challenge. So what this means is that we're going to try and do a Fermi problem and this will be a problem that we have never seen before. We're going to choose it completely at random and uh, we're also not allowed to Google anything, you know, check any answers and we have to get the answer to within, say, 10% or so. So um, if you are not familiar with Fermi problem, then I'll just give you a quick rundown of what a Fermi problem is. What is a Rikoff problem? Wait. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so basically it's an estimation problem. So you uh, are supposed to be able to calculate something just with a back of the envelope calculation. And it's named after Fermi, who was apparently really good at doing this kind of thing. So the classic Fermi problem goes something like this. So how many piano tuners are there in Chicago? I don't know what Chicago. Fermi was in Chicago? Chicago. Right, okay, right. Um, And so this sounds like an impossible kind of question when you first hear it, but the art of the Fermi problem is that you break it down into simpler problems. Well, you should know probably if you're living in Chicago that there's approximately say 9 million people living in the Chicago area. On average, there are two people in each household in Chicago. Roughly one household in 20 has a piano that is tuned regularly. So this is again, a rough estimate of what you might expect. You would also expect the piano would be tuned regularly once once a year, roughly. It takes about two hours to tune a piano, including travel time, and piano tuner should work eight hours a day, five days a week in order for him to have a decent sort of living, 50 weeks in a year. So just based on those kind of facts, you can work out the number of piano tunings in a year in, in Chicago. So that would be nine million people divided by two people per household. So this will be the number of households. And if we have one piano per 20 households, so you can calculate the number of pianos. And then from that, you can work out how many tunings there should be per year. And then just from that, you can work out maybe there's about 225,000 piano tunings per year. And then the average piano tuner should perform 1,000 piano tunings per year, and you can base this on the fact that, well, there's 50 weeks in a year, five days a week, eight hours a day. This is the number of hours that is available for working each year. And then each piano tuning takes two hours, so there should be about 1,000. And so just from this, and then you just divide those two together. So that's the number of piano tunings per year, divided by the number of available work hours So from that, you can work out 225 piano tuners in Chicago. And if you actually look up the correct answer, then it will be about 290. So it's like remarkably accurate, if you like. So that's that's a kind of example of a Fermi problem. So what we will now do is to just choose a Fermi problem at random. So we need to choose a number between 1 and 25. Okay. <laughs> okay. Twenty-three. Uh, okay, twenty-three. Oh, this is good for you. Number of molecules in the atmosphere. So, how many molecules are there in the atmosphere? Wow. Wow. So, the volume of our atmosphere. It's it's pretty thin compared to Earth's radius. Okay. So, what is the radius here? Four thousand kilometers. So we're at 4,000 kilometers. Start, start writing this stuff down. Yeah, yeah. So let's, okay, <laughs> yeah. let's assume like a perfect sphere for the Earth's total volume. But I mean, we know that, okay, we know the radius of the Earth. Yeah. yeah the yeah, atmosphere is probably about 30 kilometers thick, right? Right. Well, that's yeah. what we're trying to work out, how thick the atmosphere is. How thick? Right. Oh, it's, yeah, it's about, I think it's about 30 kilometers. Okay. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's going to be, so 4,030 cube minus, minus 4,000 cube. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Right, right, right. So yeah. if we assume a perfect sphere for both the 
right for the earth and the earth plus atmosphere. Right yeah. 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 It's going to be the difference of their flow. Yeah. yeah. So this this radius is more like 4,000. Uh, Earth's radius, I guess, is like, uh, it's like... I think it's like 4,027. About like this? Yeah, 6,000. Yeah, 6, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 6,000 6, something. 4, 4, I guess it's the radius. 6,400 kilometers, okay. You're not thinking miles. Oh, maybe. Yeah. So we assume that the atmosphere has an additional 30 kilometers. Additional yeah. 30 kilometers. Right. So the volume taken up by just the atmosphere is a difference in the spherical volumes. Of both. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, so thousand times four times four three. Oh, yeah. Cubed. Right. Yeah. Cubed. Can, can you keep writing? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> six point four three times ten, times ten to the six. Yeah, into the six meters. We take that to be cubed. Yeah. So right. Cube. So cube that. Keep that. Minus, minus, two, minus two of the other one. So what was that? Everybody's supposed to about two hundred and sixteen. About two hundred sixteen. Is that six cubed? Six cubed. Just two. Six, two but I mean, six point four cubed could be something really different because seven cubed is already three hundred forty-three. Right. So, uh, so, uh, so is this in cubed? We're going. <laughs> <to write it. laughs> no. We're, we're no, back. No, no. We're back. To cube. But then you have to factor in what, what is six point four. Okay, so we, we really need to be able to split the cube of 6.43 and 6.4. Yes. So right. the real next step is going to be what the density profile is going to be. Right, right. Yeah. So do we assume exponential decay in, in terms of number of molecules? Yes. So yes. Look at that. It might be safe to assume exponential decay, and then we can just assume a hard cutoff where... What do you think about this? Yeah, yeah, because I think as you go up, the atmosphere things out, right? It, it, it does thin out, but what is that? What's the rate what is of the decay? Yeah, yeah. What is the rate of the density decay? Yeah, yeah. right. It's not going to make much difference. Yeah. So What's the half distance? Yeah. it would it would be somewhere so. somewhere log something. Oh, just another the rate. Just, of just, decay. Just, just take it to be ten or fifteen <laughs> kilometers. I, 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 I don't think you're supposed to do it like so accurately. Right. right. Yeah. You're right. We'll just yeah. take, take so. Yeah. yeah so okay. Just take just take and then integrate the density from zero to fifteen. No, 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 forget integration, okay, just, uh, So we were saying, essentially, it's equivalent so, to a completely filled... Right. ...at a particular density for right. half the... Uh, which, which is fair, it, it looks like... For 15 kilometers. Right. And the atmospheric pressure... Like, is, a, like a perfectly insulated... <clears throat> yeah, so what's the density at ground level of... Yeah. Atmospheric pressure is like, well, one atmosphere or one time 10 to the 5 Aerosol pascals, right? Yeah. So what do we, how do we get that temperature? So, so, like so we know temperature. Sure, if we, so, so if we know. Standard temperature is yeah. like, um, on the, on the standard is like a 22.4. Sure. Uh, yeah, right. We'll talk about the standard, like, yeah, it's a standard, the uh, right. uh, ideal is that uh, 22.4 letters per, like, um, okay. Then, then that's it. We, yeah. we know how to do it. Yeah. Okay. But so that's, a that's right. That's also yeah. a graph. Um, yeah. But we're saying so it's, it's roughly that for yeah, the height. Yeah. Just, right. just, just do it for 15. So kilometers. now, so we, so good. We have the yeah. volume of the atmosphere. We have the density profile of the, of the atmosphere. Yeah. We, you know, we multiply that and we get. So the, that'll give us moles. And then right, we just have to. The number of molecules. I mean, then yeah. we have Avogadro's number. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, we're going to just do 6 times 10 to the power 23. 23. Molecule, uh, molecules. That's molecules per liter. Why should we yes. be dividing? Why not multiplying? You only okay, well, can you we just ignore the unit first? Because right. I go. Well, it, it would be nice to know the right. unit so we know what that number okay, is. Okay, so we the units. It won't, it won't yeah, that right. much more. So, but like, how right. should we write this? Like, like uh, that's, 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 that's how many per, per, per mole. mole. Yeah. How many molecules per mole? Uh, how many molecules per mole? Yeah, molecules per mole. Okay. Okay. So we have mole per liter times molecules per mole. Yeah, we're left with n. Then we times the molecules per mole. Multiply by the. But this is um, yeah, the liter, so, yeah. so we still have a liter. So meter cube to liter is, uh, is just one, one thousand. A thousand, one thousand, thousand, thousand yeah. Uh, is that so that's, that's ten to minus three? One meter cube. So here we like the. Uh, oh, we don't want to miss that part. Of it. Is it ten to the three liters per 
meter cube, right? Oh, right. Yeah. So not, not one over, right? Uh, the, the, the units are on the, 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 the units are on the denominator. Yeah. 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 The, yeah. the way it's written here is. Yeah. We just flipped the first thing. Times by Avogadro's number. Right. right. No, I'm just worried about that last term. No, it's one times the It's uh, it's a here, but not um, uh, but not, but not, but not, but not Oh, okay, okay, that's okay. fine then. Okay. Fine, fine. Yeah, per, per, yeah. Okay, so so this is the only thing that we still need to resolve because we had. Uh, if you really want to calculate it precisely, you may use the. Well, sure, but but otherwise, this is just the full volume of the area. Okay. I mean, yes, we can we can do this with simple polynomial. Factorization, right? This is right. Six point yeah. four plus zero point zero three. So this is a power three minus six point four. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean that's that's what I have. Uh, so ignoring the ten to the six yeah. factor, which is going to be ten to the eighteen anyway. We do six point four three zero point zero three cubed minus just six point four cubed. Mm. Okay. So then we go. Um, so, so it's, it's not so like so it's start with zero zero point three. The terms of yeah. the, uh, this one minus this one. Yeah. 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 Just three yeah. times zero point yeah. zero, six zero three. So six. It's going to be point four squared times zero point zero three. Right. Times, times zero three. point is the is the dominant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't even like that. Times three. Okay. So six point four squared times three. Times three. Makes a point. Makes a point one as well. So. Point one. Yeah. Yeah, point one. Two. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Well, six point four squared was approximately what? Twenty. Uh, 40, because there's seven forty. Okay, so forty times four. So this is about four. Four. Yeah. Six, six, okay, so four. Four, four times four thirds pi. That's about sixteen. It's about sixteen. So sixteen. About sixteen times the rest of that number. And uh, okay, that's ten to the thirty-eight. Yeah. Thank you. 10 to the 38 molecules in total. I mean, on that order of magnitude. Um, yeah, four times two. Yeah. Okay. So our 10% of error is times 10 to the 30. That's a big number. That's still, yeah. We could still be off by some. Okay. Oh, um, really? That's not bad. Ten, yeah, if we, if we were at 10 to the 38, the answer is like, just yeah. the answer is like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think, I think. 38? That's, yeah. I think that's our consensus then. Some, something yeah. times 10 to the 38, and we're assuming that, you know, going through the math, you get 42 or 39 30. Yeah, 38. Yeah, it should be 38. Yeah. So we now reveal the answer. Okay. So Is everyone the answer for this? <laughs> um, the, this is the answer. Uh, 10 to the 44? So, oh, we were pretty damn close in the in the calculation of the. Uh, Why are we totally off? A oh, surface area of there. So it, they're doing it by the. They're surface. doing the surface area instead of the approach. Yeah, well, but but they got ten to the eighteen centimeters. Can't be so How do they off. choose the height of the atmosphere? Atmosphere. Okay, so they went with atmospheric pressure of kilogram. Oh, because if you know the pressure, then you know sort of the vertical. They volume use the. Uh, of they actually the use the volume volume directly volume. above, so they you actually wouldn't need it. Yeah. That's a good point. And then, and then you actually mm. only need to multiply that by the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would have been a bit of work. Okay, about it. Ten to the forty-four, ten to the thirty-eight. That's mm. not many really molecules. <laughs> that's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty off. That's yeah. Pretty off. That's pretty off. Yeah. I don't know. I think we messed up somewhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so 10% was way too optimistic. Yeah. Should have, should have done like order of magnitude and would still be completely wrong. Yeah. Okay. No, I, still, I still find it hard to believe it's so off. Yeah. Okay. So shall we try our hand at another one that's uh, more in line with what everyone's no, now, now we're done. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, it's this last factor, I think. Because you calculate it in meters, right? Well, we can't. Sh there should be uh, okay. 10 to the 3 Six. more liters. <laughs> we should be dividing by 10 to the 3 to be multiplied. by 10 to the 3. And then what does that get us? Um, it's instead, of, instead of 41, it would be 44. 44. Ah, ah, down. I see your yeah. point. So we, we yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I told you that was. <laughs> 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 I knew it. 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 I
So 44. 44. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's actually a so, kind of discrepancy, yeah. amazingly, somehow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so apart from the calcula calculational error, we actually we actually nearly got it. Yeah. 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 That's pretty kind yeah. of satisfying. Yeah. At least if you have the same question. Okay. okay, great. Right. Okay. All right. Okay, so it's a partial win. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you enjoyed it, um, like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Final yeah. comments. <laughs> This answer has changed my life. <laughs> 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 All right. Bye. See ya. Bye.